Sea Group Yonama. Morning viewers. In this video, we are going to see about another concept. During the new moon day, if a person is having a chart, a birth chart, where sun and moon are together on a particular house, will it turn out to be a yoga or will it give bad effects? This is what we are going to see in this particular video in depth. If you are new to this channel, keep it subscribed so that you will get my updates instantly. Is new moon horoscope a yoga? This is what you are going to see here. First of all, what is new moon and what is full moon? See, basically people who don't understand about the concept of the new moon and full moon, let me explain. When sun and moon are extreme opposite direction, that is, if moon is placed in the 7th house directly opposite to the sun, we call it as full moon. Full moon means the moon will get the maximum power from the sun. So it gets a complete reflection of the light from the sun and takes the power and gives extreme positivity to the chart owner. What about new moon? New moon is like Hastanga where the moon is totally in 0 degrees with the sun. On a particular day, we call it as Amavasa in uh, Tamil and in English we call it as a new moon day where the moon does not carry any power. It is almost dark because it is totally invisible. It is behind the sun. So, in from earth when you happen to see on a Amavasa day, that is on a new moon day, the reflection from the moon is totally zero. We have a dark cloud on that particular night. So, we can't see the reflection of light from the moon. So, we don't get any power from the moon. During that day, you could see the waves are very strong. Even in the uh, sea, you could see the sea waves will be very strong. And the mind of the people will be very much erotic. You can, find, you can see some people behave very differently. So, those who are having negative charts with moon, with moon totally debilitated or totally in the wrong houses or being uh, affected or aspected by negative planets, they have some mental problems, they might have some stress. Even during the days when moon is at the 8th house to the Rasi, that is from the zodiac, you find this particular problem. So, now you could understand from new moon, the moon starts growing. See, it starts leaving the sun and it starts growing and it takes 15 days to get its complete power. So, whenever the moon starts growing from the sun, it takes the second house, third house, till the seventh house. These places becomes very much positive because the moon is in a growing direction. From a full moon day, it starts declining. That is from the 7th house, it starts from 8th house, 9th house, 10th house and it comes up to 12th house and it again goes to the 1st house of the sun. So, during this particular cycle, we call where the moon is declining, it gives negative impacts. So, on a particular month, whenever moon grows away from the new moon day to the full moon day, it takes a positivity. Similarly, if it declines from the full moon to the new moon, it gives the negative impact also. To an extent, moon carries certain light until the fourth day when it starts declining from the full moon. So, almost when it is in the 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, you could say, you can say even 10th, 11th and 12th, all three, three houses, when moon is placed, it, al it almost loses its power. So, it is totally dark. Moon here considered to be the a negative planet is equivalent to a Saturn, but when moon is placed on the 7th house of sun, it takes a complete positivity. It, it will be a step ahead of Jupiter also. It gives that extreme positivity, even a person can become a ruler also. You can see a dynamic lady like Ms. Jailalita in Tamil Nadu. She was the ex-chief minister of Tamil Nadu. Her horoscope supported based on the full moon moon having a very strong power and made her a dynamic lady. So, this is a concept. During the new moon period, do you think my horoscope will not give any support? It is not that way. So, we need to see certain aspects. 
in this video we are going to see some examples so that you can understand on what position moon will give positivity to a chart owner in this example chart you can see as the ascendant libra and the 7th house aries where sun exalts and moon is there on a new moon period and this particular house is the 7th house to the ascendant generally if sun is very strong at the 7th house the opponent will be very strong the, for example this chart owner if this chart owner being a male his wife may be very much arrogant or uh, she may not listen to him there may be some ego problems could be there when moon gets associated with sun and where moon is totally dark and sun loses its power to an extent and makes moon a slight positive planet here so the negativity is gets reduced but at the same time moon is the 10th house lot for the ascendant libra and when it being associated with sun on a new moon period this person may have some problems in the workplace also here there is no planets no positive planets aspecting aries for example there is no uh, connection between jupiter or mercury or venus like that so this particular chart owner may find the family life to an extent comfortable but he may find some difficulty in his workplace he may not enjoy his work he keep on changing his work and he is not satisfied with any any one of his work in this example chart you could see for aquarius the 6th house lord being moon and it is being there as a ruler but here it is not so because people generally think when moon is there at the 6th house cancer it is very strong but here it is not because it is a uh, new moon day where sun is almost close with moon and here moon is totally dark to an extent this particular chart owner takes a positive effect of the moon because moon happens to be the 6th house lord it should not be getting this maximum strength if it gets a strength then this person will have weakness in uh, in his health he may find lot of health issues he may be bankrupt from others so a lot of problems he may face lot of uh, problems in the public and he cannot enjoy his life he have some series of problems but here luckily the 6th house lord does not so strong and because of the new moon uh, period on a particular day where sun is almost close and makes, makes aksanga or uh, makes moon totally negative here so this chart owner will not have the negative effects of the 6th house but at the same time he may not find the health of his mother good so there is also some negative in this the negative effects of the karak the moon's karak it will work but the 6th house the effect of the 6th house will get reduced here so this is the example of a particular uh, negative planets but if it happens to be the 6th house lot to an extent it is good here also you can see there is no positive planets getting associated with this sun and moon being placed at the 6th house it is good if there is a connectivity between the positive planets like uh, venus or jupiter getting associated here or aspecting this house then the house becomes strong so the ascendant the native of the chart owner will face all the problems of the 6th house luckily here there is no positive planets aspecting this rather saturn aspects it and it becomes even worse in this example where for ascendant virgo the 7th house pisces you have sun and moon together in the houses of jupiter like pisces and sagittarius there won't be any much negative effects so even though the moon is on a negative side here because it is on a new moon day jupiter from the cancer that is jupiter is having the highest strength here it aspects its own house so it turns out to be very positive so now in the 7th house for this ascendant the sun and moon together gives a very good positivity so the 11th house lord is there at the 7th house so they have lot of friends out of friends they get good profits so there is a good support from the friends there are good support from this life partner the chart owner will get a beautiful wife if a case of this chart owner is a male he may get a beautiful lady as his wife same way if this particular chart owner is a female the female may get a good handsome person as a life partner so they have good support from the friends they have a very uh, big team of friends 
and even in business they can flourish so a lot of positive things can happen and even in business there is a lot of positivity and they can get some more profits also because the moon being the 11th house lord in case if jupiter is not aspecting this sun and moon here then there will be lot of problems he may how this person may not get support from their opponent the person may not get friends also or they may not find any loyal friends also even in business they may find losses so all the things will be turn out to be very much negative but luckily for this particular example if you see jupiter takes the extreme power as it exalts at cancer and it aspects its own house where the sun and moon are being seated so it turns out to be a positive and the yoga for this particular chart on this example chart for virgo ascendant in second house you could see sun and moon are together on a new moon day where sun happens to be the 12th house lord and moon happens to be the 11th house lord and sun debilitates at the second house and moon is also weak here there it is a weak moon and on a new moon day so this particular house is not aspected by any of the planets any of the positive planets especially like jupiter or venus or standard or mercury so it becomes totally negative the second house implicates speech so the person may not have a strength in his speech rather than this person is a liar and he may not talk in a straight forward manner so all these negative things can happen this person may not get settled in his life in a comfortable manner he may not find a suitable house to stay also so a lot of problems in the business or as well as in the work he may not get the expected revenue in hand so all this negativity will take place because here the sun and moon even though it is on a hamavasai or a second house not having any association with the positive planets or being aspected by any positive hope you had understood the concept of the new moon and the power of the new moon when positive planets like venus jupiter aspects are associated at the same time if it is not getting aspected or associated by the positive planets then it gives its ill effects also moon happens to be the 6th house or 8th house especially for uh, sagittarius and aquarius this new moon concept may not have that much negative effects for them because any of moon happens to be the 6th and 8th house lot for them so it will not have much impact but at the same time it will give its problem in its karak also so moon depicts mother so they may find some health issues or mother may not be kind to them they may find such issues also hope you have enjoyed this video i'll catch you again with another set of videos shortly thank you